It's refreshment time, folks. Taste that beats the others. Cold Pepsi pours it on. Taste that beats the others. Cold Pepsi pours it on. Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 16 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the Motion Picture Code of Self-Regulation. this day will be avenged. A curse of the dead hand. <laughs> the dead hand that crawls, creeps, and kills. <laughs> <laughs> the dead hand that lives. And now, the screaming starts. For them. And for you. Do you dare to spend a night of terror in the Wax Museum? You can't tell the living from the dead. Do you dare to spend a night of terror in the Wax Museum? Ladies and gentlemen, the museum is now open. You will meet some of the most fiendish monsters in all history. Cannibals, poisoners, stranglers, stabbers, and rippers. Terror. In the Wax Museum. Wax thou art, and to wax thou shalt return. You can't tell the living from the dead. Where one is the killer, the rest the victims. What are you doing? Can't tell the living from the dead. Are they flesh and blood, or are they wax? Are they alive, or are they dead? Jack the Ripper, Ivan the Terrible, Attila the Hun, Lizzie Borden, Lucretia Borgia, Bluebeard. Do you dare to spend a night of terror? Terror in the Wax Museum.
Mitchell, people don't like you. What kind of a policeman are you anyway? Brute force with a badge. His name is Mitchell. Joe Don Baker is Mitchell. Sorry, the beer got a little excited. To change. So bust me. You're a policeman and that's grass. Likes you. That's your trouble. Not so many people like you. You gotta cultivate people. And you gotta be nice to them. God, for one moment I forgot you were a cop. Mitchell, I want action. I made a decision about you. Watch out for falling rocks. Out! On your knees, face it, Ben. Face it, Ben. On your knees. Get your hand on top of your head. Now freeze. That's very impressive. Did you get a kick out of this kind of thing? Joe Don Baker is Mitchell. We'll do whatever is necessary, and if we can't rap about it, then we're going to shoot our way into the bridge. <laughs> And nobody knows more about dying than Eddie. How you doing, Eddie? Come on, Eddie. Let's see how good you are. Come and get us, Eddie. Come and get your babies. <laughs> it's all part of his work. He carries a badge. Eddie was born a cop. But now he's the best ex-cop in the business. Marie, he didn't have a girl. I swear to that. Maybe you didn't know him as good as you thought you did. Large sums of money can do strange things to human character. You really are a cop, aren't you, Ryan? Until they kill me. Get down before I knock you down! <laughs> Any relax, it's on Relax, listen, I've been to one too many funerals. And you're standing there telling me they think I had something to do with these homicides? Uh, you got some imagination. Well, I didn't imagine what they did to Gigi. What are you driving at? I think you know more than you're telling me. That's what I'm driving at. And you're out of bounds, Ryan. You don't have your sin anymore, remember? You! You! Badge 373. Inspired by the exploits of Eddie Egan, the cop with connections on excitement. I want shotguns, rifles, and bulletproof vests. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> the easiest thing in the world to buy is a cop. <laughs> One dead partner to avenge. One deadly conspiracy to abolish. One of New York's finest. At his wildest. Hey, what are you guys doing, man?
I say he's gonna be here, he should be here. Open it up. Shaft's his name. Shaft's his game. Can't say he's gonna be here. And he ain't. It ain't right. That's some cold shit. Throwing my man Leroy out the window. Just picked my man up and threw him out the goddamn window. Listen, Snow White. You mean you gonna tangle sooner or later? Why don't you stop playing with yourself, Willie? You ain't gonna do shit. Shaft's his name. Shaft's his game. Hey, man, I don't know no Ben Buford. 20. Oh, that Ben Buford. We're gonna take it out of your ass, pimp. I'm looking for a nigga named John Shaft. Just found him. Wow. The mob wanted Harlem back. They got Shaft. Up to here. All I'm asking you is to let me know what's going on. No names, no places, just what? Okay, Tom, use up your minute. Get out! Don't tell me, man. Where got Look here. God damn. Yeah. Come on, in front of me. You want to play your super heavy block number? I'm going to play mine. We can nail your tail for manslaughter on what we got on you right now. Right on. What is it? When you lead that revolution, why did better be standing still? But you don't run with a down no more. We're done running, man. Shaft. Hotter than barn, cooler than bullet. Rated R. If you want to see Shaft, ask your mama. You shall pay black. Prince, I curse you with my name. You shall be Blackula. Blackula, the Black Avenger, <laughs> rising from his tomb to fill the night with horror. Blackula, Dracula's soul brother. Deadlier even than he. You know, he is a strange dude. You're a nut that ran in front of my cab. You're the only imbecile on this street. Boy. Black Blackula. <laughs> Look at man, you were fine. I mean, you got to be around here somewhere. I mean, now listen, you, wait, you take your hands off of me. I don't know you. He thirsts for your blood. He hungers for your soul. Warm young bodies will feed his hunger. Hot, fresh blood will quench his awful thirst. Thank you. I'm Bloody Mary. Are you, um, into the occult? How about the uh, heavy stuff? What do you think of vampires? Vampires? I think they're possibly the most fascinating ball. More horrifying than Dracula. The Black Avenger. Black Dracula. From American International Pictures. Lonely, helpless earth. The 21st century. 
world of the future. And lurking beyond the cold, strange immensity of conquered space, growing and spreading beyond the warped imagination of the greatest human intellect, exploding in unspeakable horror, the green slime. The civilized world at war with alien form, whose slimy touch means instant, horrible death. Invaders from beyond the stars, the green slime. Robert Horton. Luciana Paluzzi. Richard Jacob. You make too many mistakes. You're not right for command. This is my command, and I'll manage it. Two men struggle for survival in the infected remains of a diseased universe. One woman searches for a last chance to save the human race from the desperate hunger of the green slime. Battle in space against faceless beings. A cosmic nightmare that sends you into the incredible, the shock world of... Green Slime! Green Slime! Green Slime! Lost River, take 32. And action. Lost River is lost no more. Yes, friends, you can be part of a modern ecological miracle. Acres and acres of reclaimed land nestled in a scenic mountain valley, site of the newly formed Lost River Lake. You'll find swimming, sailing, snorkeling. There's something strange in the water at Lost River Lake. Something you can't see, something you can't feel until it's too late. Started in a Texas pond. Barbara! Where is the shifting in here? David! David! Well, it still works. It's the quickest way to know if they're down there or not. What are you doing? You drained the pond? Yes, we found You let them out? They were unleashed into America's waterways to churn quiet streams into rivers of living death. Keep your hand out of the water. Ow! What's wrong with the water? Dad! Stay back! Dad! Stay back! The water is filled with carnivorous fish. Piranha, the deadliest man-eaters of all. In schools of hundreds, they attack and devour anything that moves with razor-sharp teeth that can strip a man to the bone in less than a minute. There'll be no way to contain them. They'll be able to swim up every river system in the country. There's a school of piranha heading straight downstream toward your resort. They'll kill us. All of us. Science fiction. I told you not even to say that word. What the piranhas? What about the piranhas? They're eating the guests, sir. They're here, and they're hungry. Piranha. His name is Hook. And they swallowed his bait. Jim Brown is Hook. He rips off the Mafia for a million five, but his line gets snagged. And now he's in the slams. Face front, hold the card on your chest. Memorize your CPI number, stencil it on all your possessions. Jim Brown is Curtis Hook, the man with a million on ice. The big green. Look out, Holmes! If he can live to spend. We want the dope, Hook. 
and the money. There you go, singing the same old song, Sergeant. Your civil rights will be protected to the full extent of our capability. <laughs> The slams, a thousand times worse than any ghetto. Come on, you hockey suckers. A battleground where desperate men sell their souls to stay alive. <laughs> There's a contract out on you, Hook, and I've got it. The organization wants their money. Now you listen to this, Capiello, and you listen right. But if you kill me, that's the end of it. Hook! <laughs> The hook wants out, real bad. But who could he trust? Stop! You either cooperate with me, I'll have your boyfriend in a padded cell. The brothers, they stick together and help each other. Nobody can handle it all by themselves in the slams. I want a tough man like you to give me some leverage with the brothers. A million five. That's cool, baby. But what good is a trunk full of bucks when your life ain't worth a dime? The slams, savage men in an iron jungle where only the strong survive. Jim Brown is Curtis Hook, the man who wants out from the slams. Have all officers report to me once with their floor plans and escape SOTs. Full scale lockdown for further notice. We're gonna keep him inside. But would he pay the price? A million or his life. Watch out for the hook caught in the slam. Chicks out for kicks and in for trouble with the born losers. Mm, just how is the mom initiated? By getting it from everybody. Neato. We hope you take off your clothes, baby. Who's got the acid? Acid? My few kids are gonna sail. We're not coming out of orbit for three days. <laughs> Look at this! 600 simoles! These are the born losers. The sickest sickle gang that ever terrorized a town while the law stood helpless. You know, not only do they assault her, but they're free to go right on keeping her living in terror. If only one of us had the guts to just cut them down. I've been wanting to crack at you from the beginning. Are you planning on fighting or uh, talking me to death? <laughs> Mr. District Attorney, any truth to the rumors that the girls will refuse to testify? Remember, all you need is one witness to obtain an indictment. Born losers, and they know it. Please, don't do that. How about a pretty please on your knees? On your knees. <laughs> the wall. Billy Jack, I'm gonna kill you if it's the last thing I do. I'm gonna cut your bowels out. We now know the 1950s ended in 1963. The fall of 63 was the end of an era. New voices were being heard. Oh, the times are changing. But there were some who knew those days would never end. They were called the they Wanderers. Call the wanderer. yeah. What do you say? Wanderers forever, right, Joey? Let's go! Return with us now to those thrilling days. Now, the epic of the Bronx from the novel that has become an outrageous classic comes to life. See the wonders of a forgotten world. 
see the Sea of Greece parting and meet the guys who became legends in their own times. The Wongs. The Fordham Bullies. The Bullies! Bullies? The new kid on the block. Leave the kid alone. Cheer to the Dell Bummers. Hear dirty words. Them white boys here, they's getting obstreperous. See making out like it was meant to be. I love you. I love you. I love you. You have no respect. See real dancing. Okay, pop on. See gambling for high stakes. You know, in a couple minutes we're gonna be naked. Then what? <laughs> See parents in action. You ain't got nothing up here. It's all black. Oh, shit. Hey, this is my fun, Emilio. Yes! See Ducky Boys on a rampage. And witness the greatest battle scenes ever filmed in the Bronx. And be the first in your neighborhood to answer, are teenagers bad for each other? The Wanderers are coming. Not yet. Remember when roller skating was a lonely sport? The skaters were discreet. The skates were obsolete. And the background had no beat at all. Well, times sure have changed. Welcome to Skate Town USA, yeah, 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 yeah. where boy meets girl in a celebration of love on wheels. From coast to coast, rock and roller disco is the most. Right. The most fun, the most excitement, the most beautiful girls, yeah. the most outrageous guys. The most daring encounter between two rival champions. And the most fantastic music. All come together in the greatest story ever rolled. Big stars get down, and new faces turn around in Skate Town, USA. The world's biggest, funniest, toughest, loudest rock and roller disco movie ever imagined. Skate Town, USA. It's heaven on wheels, and it's heading your way. In 1918, a man traveled through the South with a portable electric chair. His name was Jonas Candide. And
time, business was a good. The death chair. He took pride in his work, and his customers were always satisfied. Candide was the best in the South. He's here, Jonas. Harold, I know, I know. Until one day, he became too involved with a client. You do something for me. And I'll do something for you. Now, what makes you think I'll do something for you? We got a problem. Her ass is just too good to cook. You want to come up with the money before the execution. And I know you'll think of a way. Well, Jeremy, tell me, how long has it been since you had a little nookie? Oh, he had been a long time. Ladies, this is Jeremy. Doc, Doc, I'm begging you. Look, no, look, look, Doc, I'm begging. Now, look, you got me down on my prayer bones. I'm begging. Breaks my ass! There's nothing I can do. I can't go any farther. <laughs> well, yes, you could go farther. Give me a rope. What? Give me a rope. It's over. Ah! No, 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 wait, now, don't get me wrong. This is not a holdup. I just want my money. Now, look, you, you see those papers aside, my collar. I got everything. Well, this whole thing is getting out of hand. I... In 1918, a man traveled through the South with a portable electric chair. His name was Jonas Candide. And business was good. is a creature of the night whose very name strikes terror in the hearts of man. He fears only mirrors, the scent of garlic, and the sight of a crucifix. He feeds upon human blood. Only sunlight or a stake driven through his heart can destroy him or those whose blood he drinks. His name is Dracula. I love you, and I can give you eternal life. I knew it an insurance salesman. I've already got Prudential. Oh my, are you biting me? Oh, oh, oh. It was wild. How many times did he bite you? Oh, bad. Just once. I told you it was our first date. I won't let him get her. Well, Count, what do you say to that? I would say leave Cindy alone and find yourself a nice Jewish girl, Doctor. That's the other one, isn't it? Dracula in New York. His style is irresistible. His curiosity is irrepressible. And when he takes a bite out of the Big Apple, his appetite is insatiable. If you're hungry, Master, we could ring for the night maid. <laughs> oh, I love the night light. When you is gone, nobody's gonna bring you back here once to a day. Good evening. Oh, I love the night light. Master, please be careful. What is it? You nearly stepped on my dinner. Bon appetit. Oh, I love the night light. I heard a rooster crow. A rooster in New York City? I cannot believe what I'm hearing. It's him! Yeah, 
or a rock group. The second way to kill a vampire, count three silver bullets through the heart. Jack! No, Rosenberg. That is a fair wolf. Really? Are you sure? <gasps> I've lost her forever. He's drained all the blood out of her. George Hamilton. His blood in your eye. Susan St. James. Richard Benjamin. Dick Sean. Sherman Hemsley. Isabel Sanford. And Artie Johnson as Renfield. Finally, after 712 years, to have someone bite me again. Love at first bite. And the hammer won't, Super Spook will. He's the baddest dude in Hollow. Get him up, Scout. An expert at games of chance. Come on, shoot. Big D. A mellow man about town. I know, brother. In our bay. Hell on wheels with the women. My little stop that. My little stop that. My little And a master of the art of physical combat. I would hate to kill your chest. He's not super spade. He's not super dupe. Do you have a Johnson? No, oh, ma'am, I, I, I don't have people. He's not super nigger. I'm a super spook. Your mother's mother. Yeah. Now, all she knows is that it was a dude. He was wearing white pants. Yeah. He had on a jacket. And she caught a whiff of this nasty, weird sort of odor. What ran away, he was screaming out. High old silver. High old silver. Looks like a Lone Ranger. High old silver. Yeah. With Super Spook on the scene, ain't nothing to worry about. Except for the cops. Mm. How the hell do you mask wearing boo type nigga if it went for that damn. Super spook. Organized religion. There was this mugging in the bar. The guy wears some kind of, you know, spray cologne or something on his thing. And I don't know no nigga with no cologne. Any oh, nigga oh. I know, right guard type nigga. The victim. I want Mr. Spook gone and off the case. And of course, the mugger. Right, give me that. Gotcha. If Shaft can't and the hammer won't, the spook will. That's you! Right! If Shab can't, and the hammer won't, Super Spook will. No. The case. Be serious when you tell me your hobby is looking at naked women. I have an urge which you might call lascivious. Controllable, but it's an urge. I've always had it. Being married makes it seem like I shouldn't have it anymore. But the fact is, I do. You could say it was like a hobby. So what's wrong with being a voyeur? Can it be true that love has many ways? Yesterday. We're screwed up. Mm, we have been, Lisa. I want to be on the cover of Vogue and you want to have sex orgies with Eskimos. What kind of a marriage is that? Let Bill and Lisa guide you through all the devastatingly funny hurdles of the marriage of a young stockbroker. And what does our lovely wife, Lisa, think about all of this? All right, I'll tell you the real reason why I can't be with you. Because I have no power when I'm with you. That's, it's as simple as that. You want power over me? 
over myself. I want the feeling that I can make things happen. Christ, Lisa, who doesn't? But I can't take it anymore. And what about sister-in-law, Nan? If we went back inside your house and I took off all my clothes, would you look at me? And brother-in-law, Chester. As bad as things may be, they could always be worse. And psychiatrist, Dr. Sadler. How very revealing. I ask the most ordinary question, and your guilt makes you assume that I am referring to your peeping. Lisa, don't fall for this plot. She just asked if you saw anything. You're not here to help me. You hashed it all over with Nan. You made up your mind I'm crazy. You, you want to trap me into proving that you're right. What's happening to me? What am I doing here? Am I going crazy? God, I hate you. I love you. If it takes my whole life to somehow prove that to you, then that's how I'm going to spend the rest of my life. Dear, is that starting to tear? Oh, I wasn't. The marriage of a young stockbroker. Billy Wilder, the man who gave you the apartment and some like it hot, now reveals the private life of Sherlock Holmes. Dr. Watson, in his lifetime, recorded some 60 cases demonstrating the singular gift of his friend Sherlock Holmes. But there were other adventures, which for reasons of discretion, were withheld from the public. Adventures which involved matters of a delicate and sometimes scandalous nature. The private life of Sherlock Holmes was anything but elementary. My dear Sherlock, there are certain affairs that do not come within the province of the private detective. The public has a right to know these things! Sherlock Holmes was a man of curious habits and eccentric tastes. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Thoroughly. But this will take care of it. And not always what he seemed to be. You have described me as six foot four, whereas I am barely six foot one. Madame says you are shorter than she thought. Oh, I didn't mean to be. I hope I'm not being presumptuous. But there have been women in your life. I thought I would never find you. It's been such a long time. I found her body quite rewarding. Especially the palm of her right hand. Midgets. What is it indeed that feeds on canary birds and sulfuric acid and has an engine for a heart? Open that door. Sherlock, when I said drop this case, it was not merely a suggestion, it was an order. By whose authority? By the authority of Her Majesty's government. <laughs> take this with you. Your client isn't Madame Valador. It's the Imperial German government. Holmes, I saw it. The monster. It's getting closer and closer. <laughs> It took a genius to cover up Sherlock Holmes' vices, blunders, and bizarre tastes. Sherlock Holmes was a genius. The private life of Sherlock Holmes was anything but elementary. The Yakuza, described as the Mafia of Japan, but it is more. My brother spoke of you as the unique stranger. I took it to mean that you were a Westerner who held values consistent with ours. That a man pays his own debts, he charges his own obligations, that they are all that make him a man. Have you been to the police? With that story, this is a Yakuza outfit I'm dealing with. What the hell can the police do? Do a hell of a lot more than I can. There's one thing you can do they can't. 
Really? What? You can see Tanaka, Ken. The Yakuza, made of clans that kill by a code beyond the law, but it is more. Ah, damn it. Of course, I'll always... Always what? Love me? Then marry me. The farmers in the countryside may watch TV from their tatami mats, and you can't see Fuji through the smog. But don't let it fool you. It's still Japan, and the Japanese are still Japanese. <laughs> you still love her? That has nothing to do with this. I don't understand. What's going on in your mind? You know they're going after you. Do you want to die? Eko told you. What difference does that make? Does she have your permission to go or doesn't she? Eko can do as she pleases. She always has. That's a lie. The Yakuza lives by the code of samurai chivalry and samurai swords, but it is more. <laughs> I love watching you do that. I'm glad. No, don't! You saw Ken last night. Yes. So, can you tell me why he feels he's in some sort of danger? Did he say that? No, of course not. You know who well, he is. Well, damn it, he must have said something. You can't... <laughs> but I know him. He feels he's in danger. Oh, no!
the gang's all here. The Grissom Gang. It's a love story. I ain't got you. I don't care what happens. Slim, I'm not worth dying for. Haven't you ever loved nobody? Not like that. Nobody's ever loved me like that either. But it wasn't always that way. <sighs> Look at you. You're filthy and you smell. Do you really think I'd let a cretinous half-wit like you touch me? Why don't you call me? <laughs> Do you really think I'd let your boy lay a hand on me? What you trying to do up there, Ma? Make a man out of Slim? After we get the dough? Kill a girl. My Ma wants you dead. Slim, I'm begging you. You touch that girl, I'll kill you. You'd be dead already, except for me. God forgive me. If I could kill my own Ma. I could kill anybody. He's a vicious, murdering psychopath. Either you do what he says or you wind up dead. I guess you, you gotta start being nice to me. You think you can do that? I think so. Are you sure? I'm sure. Then maybe it'd be better if she were dead. Kim Darby. Scott Wilson. The Grissom Gang. The Grissom Gang. It's a love story. In a way. lurks within the human mind. <coughs> Asylum. The ultimate in horror. This is a, an asylum of the incurably insane. Asylum filled with stark raving terror. <coughs> Robert Block, author of Psycho. <laughs> Asylum. <laughs> the prison of madness, where few enter and none return. <laughs> Asylum, you have nothing to lose but your mind. The beat is always just right. The sound is always moving through you. And everything's perfect until the music stops. Who is that? I can't be sure, but I think it's Richie Desmond. But you ought to talk to him. About what? Faded rock stars are Diamond Desmond, darling. I know how she operates. That means that I do the talking. You just remember, you got no place to go. And in all my life, in all my world, carnal travels. I have never, ever seen anything so magnificent. Probably cold in bed anyway. You wish. You looking for some trouble? I mean, I like you a lot. And I'd like to get to know you better. Because I think it could be fun. Sybil. 
Let's get one thing straight, okay? The only uh, entertainment I provide for you is music. You don't sign anything unless it's solid green, my man. What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's Danny! Let's go! Well, this is it, Mr. Parker. The vision of the future. I don't get it. <laughs> well, there's a disco in that jet over there. I'd like you to get Richie to sign those contracts for me, Brian. I'll really make it worth your while. When he comes in, sign him. Under the contracts you signed with Ms. Michaels, she has the complete authority to control the style and content of your public performance. You be on that plane with your old shoes on, honey. Or not at all. the music the woman with the power no woman has ever had before oh when does the turkey show up he doesn't and the one man she can't control i was going to bring you something really special a memory from the past richie desmond he doesn't seem to have been able to make it hi beautiful how are you hi, ladies and gentlemen how are you I want him off after this number. I know, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, huh? He'll hang himself. Watch. I said I want him off. Yeah, I know, Tony. I know. But you must be kidding. I mean, every producer in town is out there standing on his feet. Oh, yeah? Well, then you can shove it, baby. I got contracts on you. You mean to work for me or not at all? <laughs> then I don't work, dear. I'm telling you, I'll fix it so you never work in this town again, you hear me? Richie! Disco fever. Everything is perfect until the music stops. the sea to challenge the unknown. When the forces of nature erupt, the ocean floor opens up, hurling five men and one woman 15 miles straight down to a place that exists on no map and yet holds the key to man's future. Latitude zero. Where the past merges with the present to predict the future. The Alpha launched June 21st, 1805. Since you question everything, I don't expect you to believe there's so much of anything else you're about to see. I am 204 years old. Alpha's northeast of you, and course for latitude zero. Those are torpedoes. Search missiles. Well, do something, will you? Latitude Zero Good battles evil, using the incredible weapons of tomorrow. Activate your elevation belt.
I've seen pictures of the moon that looked a lot more inviting. Right. Say, Captain, you ever been here before? First time. Well, that's great. How do we find Dr. O'Connor? We'll have to search. Could be in that tower. <laughs> Live an adventure beyond your wildest imagination as mankind fights for its very survival. Share every exciting moment of the incredible world of Latitude Zero, where man's future explodes 15 miles beneath the Earth. Well, look who's here. When the action is too rough for one man, send for Savano's Seven. First of all, it's no ordinary cleanup job. Once we take out one of those bananas, we gotta wipe out the rest of them in 30 minutes. If we're gonna get this thing done, we're gonna get it done quick. Savano's Seven. The Playmate. The Black Belt. The Dragster. The Comic. The Professor. The Indian. The Cowboy. Seven. Death is their way of life. Seven.
On November 29th, 1864, a unit of cavalry numbering 900 men surrounded a peaceful Cheyenne village at Sand Creek, Colorado. The Indians raised the American flag and a white flag of surrender. They're coming out, sir. What? What's that? I think it's Spotted Wolf. My God, sir, he's got a flag of truce. Yes, sir, it's a white flag. Nonsense. We hear secret. I told you, Lieutenant, give the order. Sir? Why give the order? Yes, sir. Open fire! Nevertheless, Ready? the cavalry attacked, slaughtering 700 Indians. Hi! More than half of whom were women and children. Troop! At the trot! Merge! The factual account of that massacre is now documented in a motion picture. Ralph Nelson's Soldier Blue. Good brave lads, coming out here to kill themselves a real live engine, putting up their forts in a country they've got no claim to. So what the hell do you expect the Indians to do? Sit back on their butts while the army takes over their land? You saw for yourself what they did, taking off scalps. Yeah, and who taught them that little trick? The white man. Oh, and cutting off hands? And cutting off feet? And cutting off... I know what they cut off. But at least they don't make tobacco pouches out of them. Uh-uh. That's something else you soldier boys made up. Oh, you're lying. Get that white woman out of there! Yes, sir. <laughs> Soldier Blue. A nice poem. Say something pretty. General Nelson A. Miles, Army Chief of Staff, termed the Sand Creek Massacre perhaps the foulest and most unjust crime in the annals of American history. Candace Bergen, Peter Strauss, Ralph Nelson's Soldier Blue. Little boss and big halsey, man, they make a winning team. Boss soups up the engines, and halsey's a woman's dream. But they keep on moving, moving, moving. Honey, they moving right along. Ain't never found a place, sweetheart, I could really settle and call my home. You know where Jim is? Hey, man, Jim? Yeah, if we come to town with the gym and it, just let me out of the gym. Because I got to start working out. Somebody asked me what I wish. Okay, what do you wish? I wish that we'll all be happy and, and be friends and have good luck. Damn it, I'm trying to score points for you and you're trying to take my chick from me. Yeah, well, uh, she ain't your chick, you know that? Hell ain't your chick. Big lover. <laughs> I knew you'd get yourself in trouble. <laughs> well, you get yourself in trouble, why can't I get myself in trouble? Because I can get myself out. I've had a woman in every city. I've had a woman in every town. Ain't no need to put your claim on me, cause you're never gonna get me down. I make it a rule. 
Never to make no promises. I bet you think that I make out really good, huh? Well, I don't. I don't. I don't make out good. You know those girls? You think I don't know their dogs? You know, sometimes when drunk, I, I really think that they're princesses. And I wake up and they're just pigs. I just feed you like pigs. <laughs> oh, I gotta keep moving, moving, moving. Honey, gotta keep moving right along. I'm on a one-night stand, gal, tomorrow by this time I will be gone. I'm gone, honey. Your daddy done gone. Anthony Pastrumo, one of the big five mafia bosses in greater New York, is a strong family man. How we know that? Go, Stanica. Anthony Pastrumo, also known as Bacala. Oh, no, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. He became the big boss after his best friend went for a swim with a jukebox tied around his neck. Hey, 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 hey! Kid Sally Palumbo. Anybody looks to rob me, I put him under the water. He's out to take over the mob, but that will take some thinking and... Uh... I got important things to think about. <laughs> well... You said it. I think I'm gonna stand. Share up for your face. Hey, you. Hey, you. No, 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 no. Jimmy Breslin's the gang that couldn't shoot straight. A ridiculous look at disorganized crime. All right, what did you see? See what? What I can see like this, huh? You think I got eyeballs in my head? What could I tell you? Uh, what could I tell you? Brooklyn D.A. Goodman expressed concern over the possibility of another gang war. I am concerned over the possibility of another gang war. It's a beautiful day for the raid here on the South Brooklyn docks. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? This morning, the entire Palumbo mob pleaded guilty to conspiracy to murder Brooklyn. Time for you. We sent Murphy down to Kansas City to see Mary Ann. And this is how they sent him back. What should I do with these, Mr. Devlin? Oh, did you know Murphy? Yeah. Was he a good guy? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. Then bury him. Lee Marvin and the boys are coming to town. Gene Hackman and his boys are waiting for them. Nick. Guts. Yeah. I like them. Talk now, eat later. Nice to see you in the same old rat hole. You tell Marianne that I'm here. Not to get any fancy ideas about turning me or any of my boys into hamburger. You got it. Lee Marvin, Gene Hackman. <coughs> Together their murder in Prime Cut. Yeah, real smart. You and Jake, you think you're big men. You walk in anyway, you take down your pants and I'll take down mine. We'll see who's the biggest man. Why don't we just ask Clara? They tell 
tell stories about you now, good tough ones. Did you come here for Marianne, Nick, or me? Marianne. Marianne is freezing things at the ice house. Me, I'm hard at thought. What do you think of all this, Nick? I think it stinks. This is my country. Yeah. I give it just what it wants. Dope and flesh. Something up the arm. Something to lick around the belly. You have a good time last night? Huh? Lee Marvin. Gene Hackman. Prime Cut. The gangster film that's a cut above. In large U.S. cities, rich and powerful landlords are forcing helpless tenants out of their homes, and they'll use any means to throw them out in the street. They are big-time business, modern-day criminals. Oh, shit! E. Bartley Alden, Wall Street Blue Blood, banker, financier, landlord. We must empty these buildings immediately if the deal will fall through and we stand to lose millions of dollars. Emmanuel Jackson, climbed to the top the hard way, chairman of a loan and finance company, landlord. Get him! Ain't that what I told you? I told you all this shit with lawyers was wasting our time. Abraham Mursky, young, wealthy, ladies' man, clothing manufacturer, Landlord. So don't give him an ordinary payoff. Give him an extraordinary payoff. But let's get it done, for God's sakes. Clarence W. Ingstrom, old line money, power and prestige. Landlord. You just can't come out and tell a judge of the state supreme court that you're having somebody murdered. Claudios Albano, labor union president, construction company owner. Landlord. These rats. Turn off the electricity. Turn off the water. What is this, the amateur hour? People live in those buildings. People. And as crummy as those dumps are, they're people's homes. And don't forget it, mister. They're not leaving, and I'm not leaving. So you can take this here polite bribe, and you can shove it up your polite ass. Death Promise. Starring Charles Bonnet, Tenet, Young, Strong, Deadly. Damn it, I want those names. Determined to stop them. Who sent you? A man can take just so much before he is forced to fight. Come back! Get that son of a bitch! I want him dead now! And fight to the death. Death Promise, acclaimed by critics as a chilling and exciting motion picture in the tradition of Death Wish, a film of poor against the rich. I want his ass. A warning to the rich, get off our backs. Filthy rich landlords have been getting away long enough. It's time they pay for it. Death Promise. A promise made, a promise kept. Coming to this theater soon. Rated R. Nothing the screen has ever shown before can surpass the thrills of Ghidra, the three-headed monster. from an atomic fireball hurled from outer space. Ghidra, the three-headed monster, threatens man's very existence on Earth. Ghidra, 
the three-headed monster battles Godzilla, Mothra, and Rodan for mastery of the world. Men quake before the terror of their unleashed fury. All new, all never to be forgotten, a new high in screen terror. What would you give to live forever? For Melissa, it started here. What is it, child? They're coming for me. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Then because of the touch of Satan, it started again <laughs> here. It could have been a love story, but the touch of Satan turned it into a nightmare. There'll be no talk, we'll have the witch. Over my dead body so be it just what kind of witchcraft do you do huh <laughs> oh i bewitch the birds into singing and the sun into coming out <laughs> uh, a story of exorcism that could happen to your next door neighbor or maybe you yourself have felt the touch of satan Unit one or unit three, do you read? Melissa, if all this were true, that would make you 127 years old. There is no escape from the touch of Satan. Melissa, come on. Ask yourself. What would you give to live forever? But first, share the experience of the touch of Satan. Terror. I'm never, never double cost anyone. Terror. Stop it! You're killing him! Terror. Terror. Strategy of terror. Hugh O'Brien, New York detective, fights terror with terror. If you don't pay for anything, hunk, you get bought. Barbara Rush, New York reporter, fights Hugh O'Brien and the terror. He was trying to tell me about some conspiracy against the UN. What conspiracy? I don't know! We cannot make the UN go underground because of an unidentified threat. A world organization of peace faces a strategy of terror. Two gentlemen with no passports, no visas, and no visible means of support are coming in. I would hope there would be no more sloppiness such as that botched up performance regarding his loans. Do you understand? Yes. We want no more errors. Somewhere among them are the haters, the killers, the madmen. And the madmen push the panic button. Oh, please. Oh, please. Don't. Don't. No, please don't. Don't, don't kill me. There is only one, number one, this one. The greatest and bravest show in the world, Evil Knievel. The one and only Evil Knievel, the world's most incredible daredevil, who puts his life on the line with every death-defying jump, makes his dramatic film debut in Viva Knievel. Also starring Gene Kelly. Dad? I'm Tommy, your son. Red Buttons. 
What is this? Judgment Day? You're not my judge and jury. I didn't kill anyone. Laura Hutton. Stop it! You ain't stop! I've had a front row seat at this ugly spectacle. No one should know something. I think you're both the worst. Marjo Gortner. Hey, Millard wants to kill you, and your buddy Will, too. Why? Chase is on. Evil can evil vets his daredevil skills against deadly odds. And a story packed with rip-roaring excitement. And the excitement is non-stop. of a dying lunatic, Edward Foster learned the secret, the secret buried within the walls of Mars Grove. Strange things happen in dark places. Things that may push your sanity to the brink of madness. Stronger than you are. Stronger. The characters of Harold Robbins have something in common. They see it. They want it. They take it. You met the Robbins people and the carpetbaggers and the adventurers. Some motion pictures you watch. Some you feel. You'll feel stiletto. That makes you a valuable asset. So generous. Is that your way of saying don't ever come back again? Some motion pictures you watch, some you feel, you'll feel stiletto.
there's somebody here. Come on. What? Yeah. What? Hell's Angels on Wheels in exciting color will bring you all the brawls and all the way out parties exactly as it happens. You see kooky gals with their bodies painted by a new wave pop artist in the wildest party scene ever put on film. And when you see a Hell's Angels wedding, you just won't believe it. With a winged skull head as their emblem and a Nazi swastika tattooed on their arms. Rolling out of the dust to menace, to intimidate, and to destroy. Be sure to see Hell's Angels on Wheels in color for mature audiences only. Now you'll know the thrill of wrapping your legs around a tornado of pounding pistons. Like the girl on a motorcycle. She goes as far as she wants, as fast as she wants, straddling the potency of a hundred wild horses, the girl on a motorcycle. the army's hands off them, they had to keep their hands off girls. The Gay Deceivers. I'm Malcolm D. John, your landlord. Introducing Michael Greer as the Gay Landlord. Oh, I'm Danny. Starring Kevin Coughlin. Oh, how do you do? I'm Elliot. Larry Casey. Well, pleased to meet you. You are the muscular one, aren't you? <laughs> I just adore this cottage. <laughs> and beautiful Brooke Bundy. I saw him first. Now oh, wait a minute, Gorgeous. I got a bigger kiss on. Ah, Dad, I'm trying to tell you something. Don't tell me. Tell your draft board. Hey, everybody. This is Elliot, our next door neighbor. Hi. Control yourself. What goes on into gay deceivers when everyone begins to suspect everyone else is the darndest, gayest fairy tale you've ever seen on the motion picture screen. Let's have a look. And even little sister gets into the act. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Have I got a girl for you? Ta-da! It's getting so you can't tell the boys from the girls. What kind of a movie is this? Rated R. Big. Hey! Right you are, Buck Owens, in the big country music movie, From Nashville with Music. Yes, From Nashville with Music is the biggest country music show of all time, the granddaddy of them all. Along with Buck Owens is America's favorite, Marty Robbins. Good to touch green, green grass of home. Merle Haggard. Well, today I started loving you. Again. Charlie Pride. Oh, the crystal chandeliers light up the painting on your wall. Tammy Wynette. Because you're good, girl, gonna go back. Bill Anderson. Or be it just a happy state of mind. Carl Smith. Because I wind it up in deep water. George Jones. And walk through this world. Bonnie Owens. But you'll have to lead me on. Win Stewart. It's such a pretty world today. And the Jordanaires. In them old cotton fields back home. From Nashville with Music is a spectacular movie 
with 36 top country and western hit songs and over 50, 50 of the greatest artists and starring Leo G. Carroll and Marilyn Maxwell and Big John Bradford. It's a comedy riot when the irrepressible Jose Gonzalez Gonzalez hits throttle in from Nashville with music. We don't like to brag, but it's real. It's called the riot. It's called the riot. Blow away your lousy cop. Don't you touch that kid. Riot on Sunset Strip. Stars Aldo Ray, Mimsy Farmer, Michael Evans, Laurie Mock, Tim Rooney in The Happening that blazed headlines across the nation. Well, I tried everything. Teenagers, wild, beat, protesting with no direction, no goal, fighting only for the right to be heard. Have you ever been to a blanket party? Grass. Grass smokers. Their story is it shouldn't be unlawful. Come on, get with it. Let's go to a freakout. Do you know what acid can do to an inexperienced young girl? I don't know what happened. Five boys have been here. The most shocking film of our generation. They call him Angel. He's a dropout from a tough sickle club. A gang that lives, loves, and hunts trouble. searching for himself and finding others searching for themselves. It takes a long, long time before you calm down all the way. They reached for a new way of life, but some people didn't want them. Dave, I didn't know we were gonna bulldog no pigs here today. weapon of the martial arts, mastered by a torturous tyrant who defies every challenge. <laughs> Triple Irons, the screen's biggest epic of blood and revenge. 
and the film that outdo the greatest of all kung fu. In the fall of 1954, Chris Dixon and his brother Wayne were killing some time before they joined the army. All they wanted was a couple of girls. Hey Chris, you better hurry up before old man gets here. Come on. Hi, sweet potato. So what do you two got in mind? Hmm? Oh, we just want to put our hand on your leg, that's all. Why oh, you think uh, we're going to score if you said you had bad breath? Woo! Must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. A few laughs. Some good times. <laughs> you know what's funny is you never did tell me where you where you're going to Dallas. But does it matter? And then they crossed the Macon County line. It shouldn't have happened. It couldn't have happened. Jesus Christ, she's bleeding like crazy. But it did. What are you trying to kill us for? We haven't done anything, man! It happened on the Macon County line. <laughs> Macon County line. A true story you won't be able to forget. Jonathan E, that's the name. Houston players come and go, but the champion plays on. You know how the game serves us. It has a definite social purpose. Nations are bankrupt, gone. No poverty, no sickness. Man has accomplished what he'd always craved. Corporate society was an inevitable destiny, a good life, a centuries-old dream. You better do as you're told, Jonathan. That's all I have to say. Don't be here when I come back. You won't be back, Johnny Bull. No player is greater than the game itself. It's not a game a man is supposed to grow strong in, Jonathan. I still don't understand why I came here. You're the only person I ever wanted. Wanted you on my side. That's all. The books you've ordered are classified and have been transcribed and summarized. 
Well, who summarizes him? Zero, of course. He's the world's brain. Does it answer you? Oh, yes. It speaks. Mm -hmm. I'd like, uh... I'd like, uh, some information about corporate decisions, uh, how they're made and who makes them. They're afraid of you, Jonathan. All the way to the top, they are. The game was created to demonstrate the futility of individual effort. Let the game do its work. Game! This wasn't meant to be a game! simple game. Queen for you, king for me. I win. Of course, the ace is always high. You like it? Hmm? No. <laughs> now you like it? Ace high is as high as the West can get. It shoot them up high and knock them down high, where a fist beats a full house and a bullet beats an ace. Eli Wallach is Kakopoulos, the con man, a thief who steals from thieves. Here we are, just the two of us, all alone. Searching for the friends who betrayed him 15 years ago, his lips lie, his smile kills. Want to go upstairs? Hello, Only his gun speaks the truth. My grandfather always used to say, money corrupts man, it softens him. So to keep you young and pure, I think I'll take everything. <gasps> the game is ace high, crooked as the men who play it, deadly as the grudge they've held for 15 years. I warned you. For the guns they now hold. It's gonna be child's play. Leave it to me. Leave it to me, huh? Buddy, I didn't force you to come. Bravo! Over him! Ace High is high on adventure. High on everything that turned the West wild. Ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. Place your Ace bets. High, when all the chips are down, Thirteen. Thirteen. And everything rides on the luck of the draw. I want music. Clown. He wants music. Need anything else? Hill and Bud Spencer in Ace High.